Hello everyone and welcome to a glorious new LP. I'm the Sheep Sheep and Dane and today I'm gonna ask you guys a question. What would happen if you combine Super Mario Galaxy with Sonic Extreme, the classic Sonic games, and Super Mario Bros? I'll tell you what you get, something wonderful. Welcome ladies and gentlemen to Sonic Lost World on the Nintendo Wii U. Now welcome everybody to the newest Sonic game in the series exclusively to Nintendo platforms and as you can tell it, I love that shot right there with Tails flying by but this here is the biggest change to the Sonic formula ever since Booster Wind was first introduced and as you can tell it's, it's literally Mario Galaxy mixed with classic Sonic mixed with Super Mario mixed with Sonic Extreme it's like a mixed match of awesome but basically as you can tell Sonic runs a little bit slower in this one, and that's simply because they've added in a new thing called a run button. If you press ZR, you can actually go into the super peel out form and actually run across the worlds. Press ZL, you'll actually charge up spin dash, which you can rev up or push in the B button, which will allow you to boost through like no tomorrow. Look at that, so much. Sp See, and that right there is my my thing to say. That's my argument against everybody who says this game is slow. That's Spin Dash right there. Anyway, this, as you can tell, is a really major change of pace with a lot of, um... It's a lot of platforming and a lot... Well, there's a bigger focus on platforming in this game, and this is Windy Hill Zone, which is obviously the very first zone of the game, so it's extremely easy. But one of the major things you'll find about this game is there is so much different than the previous Sonic games. It's unbelievable. This is... Really Sega trying something new, and I I like it, I really do, it's something new, it's something not so much original, because again, Galaxy, Mar Sonic Extreme, you know, but it's very well done. Now, you gain a lot of new moves in this Sonic game that um, aren't really explained to you unless you um, touch the touchscreen, but uh, I'll get into those as you go on. Now, these capsules contain critters just like in the classic games, you're going to want to break these whenever you find them, because... The critters are actually what unlock the levels in this game, folks. Every fourth zone, fourth act in each zone will require a certain number of these critters to unlock. Now, it's really, there is a really low number, and to unlock every zone in the game, you're going to need to get 7,000 those things in total. Really not much. Well, it sounds like a lot, but trust me, it's not. It really takes... I don't, I don't even know if I'll need to grind any at all in this. But as you can tell, I just run up the tree. That is a new feature added in this game, folks. The parkour system, which allows you to basically parkour up object, objects and stuff. I mean, you can't really complain about that. It's all well and good. And as you can tell, his usual Sonic's usual moves, like the homing attack and whatnot, 
also re make a reoccurrence in this game, but they are slightly different in this game because, well, they've been beefed up. Now, as you can tell, I'm kicking around this bell. If you kick this bell around enough, you'll actually get a red ring. There's bells like this route, and they'll give you a different thing depending on what bell it is. But, um, yeah, this one thing I have to say about the spin dash. Oh, God. <laughs> Be careful of momentum. Momentum is painful. But um, one thing I should probably explain about this game is this is probably the hardest game in the series in years, which is really strange <laughs> because it it doesn't look like it'd be that hard, but oh well. Now whenever you get those red rings, you'll actually need to collect them all and not die in the level because otherwise you'll lose all your progress with the red rings. So it can be quite awkward at times, but trust me, it's for the best. But the red rings, if you're wondering what they do, basically they unlock bonus worlds you can actually play throughout the game. And if you get all of them within a zone, you will actually gain access to a Chaos Emerald. Now if you get the seven Chaos Emeralds, well, something magical will happen. Now in this game, like Sonic Colors, you don't need the Chaos Emeralds in any way, shape or form. And to be honest, this game is a lot. This game could pretty much be called Colors 2, because there's so much from Colors that is recurring in this game, like the Wisps, for example. And I'm not complaining, I'm one of the few people that really do love the Wisp power-ups, because, I don't know, I always have loved, liked the idea of them. But, you know. But yeah, collect all those animals as you go through the levels, because they're gonna need them. Collect those red rings if you want Supersonic. You don't need them as much, but, you know, it's, it is wise to go for. Anyway, skydiving section, but yeah, you move the analog stick and you press the run button to actually boost down quicker. Otherwise, you pretty much defy gravity, so, you know. It's all good. Oh god, I almost slipped there. Alright, so we might remember these cannon things as well, from Sonic 2, actually, believe it or not. That's right, there's a lot of references to the classic series, and, as you can probably tell, this by here is an auto-run section. The Mark Speed sections from Sonic 06, oh god have returned, and as you can tell, you're meant to go through those gateways and in the right order, I failed at that sadly, but you know. But yeah, the mark speed sections from Sonic 06 return in this game, and they are they actually work in this one, so don't worry folks, don't worry. Now as you can tell, I just picked up a power up here, this is a wisp, now this is a laser wisp in particular, you can activate it either by touching the icon on the touch screen, or pushing the R button, if you push the R button, then push the A button, then you for this wisp, you can either slide your finger across the touchscreen, or you can use the analog stick and push the A button to confirm when you're ready to fire. And you will fly off at max speed, which is always well and good. But anyway, with that, that's the end of the first note. Zone. Now you might see that question mark on the top of the screen, that basically means you can get a hint, which is very recommended, because this is a different Sonic game than the previous one, so if you get stuck, keep an eye out for that little hint icon. Anyways, clear this capsule and uh, finish up the first act. Fantastic. But yeah, really major, major difference in gameplay, and I got a lot to explain with this RP, folks, because there is so much different in this game that's you wouldn't even believe it. The soundtrack's phenomenal as well, but I'll get into that later on. Is it gonna be a long one, folks? Well, longish. <laughs> Take it easy there. Oh, stay calm, little guy. Sonic no, and Tails I, will get your buddies okay? back. Sonic, no, no, it'll be did you right. get those animals back from Eggman? Uh, just the one container he tossed off his Eggmobile. What? Wait a minute, just the one? <laughs> Weak. I would have gotten them all back by now. Save the rest of them. Hey, but, oh, I hate to think what Eggman's doing to those poor things. I'm on it. And if you can't, pro if you probably can't tell, yes, that's right, the plot of this game is literally Capture the Critters. Now, ignore that, that's actually DLC. I will show that off in an extra video, but for the most part, that's going to be at the end of the LP. And two-player race mode, I'm not going to show off, because I can't really show it off that well. Anyway, this is the world map, folks. As you can tell, you can run about freely in this, even though it, it pretty much looks like you can go to... It looks very linear, but you can freely walk around here. It's nothing much if you have to explore, but you can you can look around and see what's in store. Like, this is one of those hidden levels you need the red rings for. As you can tell, you need 100 animals to get to the end of this zone, even though I got 130 already. So, like I said, I wasn't joking when you know, I said the critter requirements are low. But, um, yeah, this bike here is Omochao. If you talk to him, 
he will actually give you missions. Now, if you complete these missions throughout the course of the game, you will actually gain items that you can use in the levels, which you can ac access by touching the touchpad. You can get things like lightning shields and whatnot, and it's all well and good. You don't really need it, but it's a nice little thing to go for if you're really playing the game. Now, anyway, I'm going to call it a part here, but, well, I'll catch you all in Zone well, Wendy Hill Zone Act 2 next time, folks, where we I explain some more of the mechanics and we continue onwards and figure out what exactly is going on on this weird world. So thank you guys for watching. I hope that you enjoyed. If you enjoyed, appreciate it. Like or comment to the video and I'll catch you all next time.